everybody, welcome to Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last episode, making an EVA foam arm cannon part one, we completed the front third of our cannon. We've got the coils on the back, we've got the front end piece, we've got the truncated cone that tapers, we've got the barrel with the vents in the side, we've got vents on the top, we've got the cool switches on the side so it looks like you can pull this off, um, and the hand grip on the bottom. Super cool, everything went down perfectly, it was very easy, you saw how easy it was. Now in tonight's episode, making an EVA foam arm cannon part two, we're going to do this whole back section of the cannon, which is loaded with cool stuff. Um, it's going to be really tedious, but not hard. Um, really time consuming, but again, not hard. Um, we're going to be doing duplicates of a lot of stuff. We have elaborate multi-layered builds here for these vents on the back. We've got these layered up sections where we've got inset metal teeth with a cocking device, we've got rivets, we've got a lot of wood burned detail on here, um, which is going to take time, but it's not hard. Um, and we've got the two big top and bottom body sections, so a lot going on, but not hard. You're going to be able to nail this. Um, so, uh, I've been shooting my mouth off long enough, time for me to get my mug out of here, so if you're ready to hit it, Let's make something. Okay, now we're gonna trace our template for our main body piece. Perfect 90 degree there. All right, now we're gonna cut this edge. We're gonna use the X-Acto knife for that. So we're gonna come in here with our point. We're gonna stick our point and get straight to this side. Now we're gonna come in right here. We're going to spin around, we're going to come right to our point right there. There we go, just like that. Okay, now we're going to come in and we're going to transfer our three green lines because we're going to use those for placement of our pieces. Okay, now we're going to cut these three green sections out and we're going to use it as a template. To There we go. Now we have the exact place where we're going to wood burn our cool detail lines. We've got our mask just to avoid any fumes from that going in our nose. We have a fan off to the side blowing it out of the way. Make sure you're not breathing this in. Either be in a well ventilated area or have a fan blowing it out of your way and also wear one of these just to avoid anything. You don't want to be smelling that. Now we're just going to do that around both of these marks. That is not bad at all. Check that out. Nice. We have our wood burn details and we have lines drawn around our templates so we know where every piece is going to go once we cut them and begin assembling. We're going to heat the bottom. to roll it up. That's probably just enough. And it is. No. Give it five minutes. We're going to want to line up the edge. We're coming in a little bit long. So what we want to do is we're going to want to bend the end and get the end down like that so we know our end is right. Wow, look at that, man, that is seamless. It's a little bit oval, so we'll wait until the contact cement sets up on the seam real nice, and then we'll heat up the two sides and it'll relax and become a circle. We're gonna stay away from the seam. We're gonna heat up the edges. Very nice, look at that, not oval anymore, now it's round. Okay, we transferred a bunch of our templates over to our foam. And remember, we talk about this in every build. As you go through your build, you're gonna to have to decide what thicknesses you wanna use for certain foams. 
I know when we went through creating the barrel for the blaster, we used thick half inch foam. And then for a lot of our details, we're using thinner foams like two millimeter, four millimeter and six millimeter, which is what we have here. I believe we have a six here. Um, so you just have to decide as you're building how thick you want your pieces and it's up to you. There's no rules. So. Okay, we have these pieces cut out of the foam. If you notice, we left a few silver lines on these pieces. That's because we're going to come in with our wood burner and we're going to burn those details next. Keep our speed going consistently. Okay, there's our wood burned lines for our details. Very cool. All right, we're going to create a vent that's going to sit right in the middle of this piece like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to use our wood burner and we're going to go through and make all of our lines. Okay, so there's our piece with our wood burned lines on it for our vent. This is going to be our frame we're going to put around the top of it. So we're going to cut the inside out. We're going to stick our knife straight up in the air so we can pivot around the circle like so. And then we're going to come all the way down, pivot around our circle. There. Okay, that's simple. Now what we're going to do is we're going to contact cement this down over our wood burned piece for our awesome vent detail. And then after we contact cement it, we'll cut around the outside and it'll be Okay, now before we contact cement, we're going to heat seal. That's it. That's enough for one. Now both pieces are heat sealed. Now we're going to glue around here and we marked a line where we want to keep our contact cement outside of. And we're going to come right up to the line. Okay, we've waited our five minutes. Now we've drawn our line around there so we can come in, tack it down. Nice. Now we're going to cut it out. Next, we're going to pivot around the circle just like we always do. And we're going to come straight down. And we're going to meet right up with the line where we started, right there. Gadzooks, look at that. Now that's going to come right here in the middle and it's going to sit right in there just like that. Okay, now this detail's kind of complicated. It's not hard, but it's complicated. We're going to have a lower piece of foam, then a raised frame around it, and a center detail, and then we're going to have a recess down in here that's going to have vent marks. It's basically the same technique we just used for this. So what we did is we're going to see our vent lines through here. So we traced out our pattern. Here's all of our lines that we're going to want to wood burn. So we're going to have to lay our metal ruler down and we're going to have to do burns all the way around both of these. It's very tedious, a little bit boring, but super easy. And then we'll straight through just a little bit. Just move around to our next dot right there and right there. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to start and go right through. We're going to lift up, start and go right through. Okay, we have our two sets of vent lines burned in. Now we're going to come in and we're going to trace. Okay, there we go. Now we know where we need to contact cement. Okay, now we're going to trace where our outer frame is going to be cut. Okay, there's our two cover pieces cut out. All right, everything is heat sealed and now we're ready to contact cement. Contact cement right up to our line, like so. All four of our pieces contact cemented. Now we wait five minutes and then pow, we contact all these together. I'm gonna line up with the marks we made. Now what we should have done is we should have drawn a sharpie line here so that we didn't contact cement there. It's not a big disaster. Once it dries and we coat the whole prop with plastic dip, you won't even see it. Just like that. Okay, now we took our template and we traced our lines where we're going to cut these out now. Now we'll do the same thing on this one. Okay, now we've got our two pieces we need for our inner circle detail. We're going to cut these out next.
just like that. Now we're gonna finish cutting the rest out. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to wood burn these detail lines in real quick. Now we finish this one. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get our Dremel out and we're going to Dremel the edges of these to be soft round edges. We have our dust mask on, don't Dremel. Without a dust mask, you don't want to breathe in Dremel dust. Now, before we glue, we heat seal. Now we're going to seal these. Okay, now instead of using contact cement for these, we're just going to use super glue. Slight round edge around here, hard edge around the top piece, wood burned lines, very cool. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take all of our pieces and we're going to begin dremeling the edges to get a nice soft edge around everything. Okay, now we've got all of our pieces with soft rounded edges. We're going to run some heat over these real lightly. We don't want to separate any glue, but we're just going to tighten the foam up because we just created some raw foam by dremeling. So we'll hit this with the heat gun real quick, tighten it all up, and then we'll begin contact cementing. Okay, everything's heat sealed. Now we're going to begin contact cementing all the pieces to the body of our arm cannon. We just come in and we line our piece up with the sharpie line we got on here. Okay, now we're going to use some super glue for the back. Now we just hold it down until it bonds. Okay, now we have our shape drawn out for our small little detail that's going to be on the top back of our arm cannon. It's going to look like a little frame with a series of coils in it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to cut a slight 45, just like that. Now we have a 45 degree cut right here. Okay. okay, now we have the length that we need for our tube with our 45 degree cuts. Now we're going to duplicate this same piece five times. We're going to heat seal these and then we're going to begin to glue. Okay, now we're going to use our super glue. Attach this down just like so. We stuck them on just like that. Now we're just going to continue all the way down. There's our coils. Okay, there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this right over the top of it just like that. All right, we've got both cemented. Now we wait five minutes and contact. Line it up. Just like that. That is cool. Just enough to have a soft edge around it and not a hard edge. Now we know we have to contact cement here and here. Wait five minutes. Okay, now we're getting ready to create our detail that we're going to use for right here on the side. And so what we've done is we've created our template right here, which is this shape. And then there's going to be little lines inside there that look like teeth on a thing that you pull back. So 
Okay, there's our two sets of grooves. Tap it down. Okay, there's both of our details. Now we're going to use this EVA foam dowel. To, we're going to slice right through like that. Now we've got our two knobs that we're going to attach on here like so. Wood burner heated up. Now we're push a little bit of a hole right in the middle, just like so. We're going to come in with some super glue. And we're going to stick it down, hold it for a second while it bonds. This is going to come in and go right here. Cement here and here. All right, we've waited five minutes. And right there. What we're going to do is we cut these little squares. We're going to put these right here on both sides. Okay, now we're going to get our super glue. Perfect. Now we're going to run our wires. We're going to take this, we're going to go through here, like so, right down the middle. And we're going to get a, there we go, like so. Now look what we have. Now the line's going to come in and it's going to go right into there like that. We're going to come in, we're going to lay down right where we want it, just like that. We're going to cut it just like that. Go ahead and put a little bead in there just like that. That's just enough. With a little neoprene tubing. Look at that. Okay, there we go. We've got the wire on this side and the wire on that side. Okay, now what we've done is we've cut our circle piece out that we're going to put inside this end of the body to cap it off like that. But before we do that, we want to attach a handle in here. So, that. so what we want to do is roughly measure where we think we can get our hand in there. We'll stick this down, we'll wrap it around and stick it down, and there's our hand grip. Which The glue won't stick very well to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our super rough Dremel bit and we're going to tear these squares up so we can get down to the raw foam. All right, we've got our super rough Dremel bit in. We've got our dust mask on. Now we're down to the raw foam. Now we'll have no problem using the contact cement. Give it five minutes and then bam, contact. Attach our contact cement right there. Tuck it underneath and we're gonna stick cement to cement. Just There's the cap to the body of our arm cannon. We're going to have to do the same thing we just did here in here because this has got the rough texture on it. So All right, so we've got the beast here, the super rough sandpaper bit, and we're going to get in here and we're going to take about a half an inch out all the way around. Got about a half inch worth. Which is That's it. Perfect. The wet cement technique. Okay, now we're going to do the cap for this end. So we have our cap size measured out and we're going to cut this hole out so my arm can go through there and it'll stay snug on this end of my arm. That's a right about how far it's going to come up and it's nice and snug. Now we just need to get in here with our super rough bit and tear out a half inch of foam. Now we're going to slide this in right to the spot we need it to go to. All right, we are all the way around right on our Sharpie line. We'll just let the moisture content in the contact cement evaporate and it'll be dry. Okay, we went ahead and we added a second line here. Looked a little bare with one, so we added a second one. So both sides have two lines now.
We're going to slide this over and we're going to bring in the piece from our first episode. We're going to contact cement both. We're going to slide it together and bam, just like that. That's going to complete our crazy radical arm cannon. So. Both are cemented. Push it together. Look at that. Put some weight on it. Good grief, that is crazy awesome. <laughs> All right, there you go. That was it. We completed the whole back two thirds of the cannon and we finished doing that. We attached it to the whole front section that we did in part one and uh, everything fit like a glove. This thing is a monster. It's got a ton of cool details on it. Um, you saw how the, this episode was time consuming and tedious, but easy. Um, we had duplicates of a lot of things, but everything went down perfectly. This thing rocks. Look at that. That is so super cool. Um, so that concludes making an EVA foam arm cannon part two. Uh, hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and uh, subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.